What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So right now we're seeing a lot of movement in the market. And honestly, this isn't the most positive movement right now, but we're still seeing movement nonetheless. Now, is this exciting to anybody? Maybe to some people that consider this a buying opportunity for a lot of people. Um, but when it comes to others that have, you know, kind of invested as they saw the market run up, this may be a little bit of a little bit tough because I'm getting a lot of questions asking me, hey, you know, I bought ICP at $10. ICP wasn't at $10 at the lowest point. It was at a way lower point than where it was at $10 where they bought at. But they bought middle of the road because they thought, you know what, this is the bull market. Things are going to run. It's going to look absolutely amazing for myself. So it grows to a level of $18, $19, $20 dollars or so. And now it starts to come back. And people are asking that question, should I sell my position and wait for it to pick back up? And honestly, if you're thinking of in that way, then you're probably more short term mindset. No offense to you not saying that, you know, you're dumb or anything like that. It's just saying that your overall strategy is more short term than it is long term. But seeing all of these questions brings to mind, like, what is Bitcoin really going to do as we see where Bitcoin is, understand what is happening, why it's happening and what we can see happening for the future. That's really what we're going through in this video. Now, all of this is speculation. It's not 100% fact that these things are going to happen. I know people like to take it that way and go, well, Matt said it's going to rise to, you know, $80,000 or $100,000 tomorrow. So it should be there. I don't know everything. I can't predict the future. I don't have a crystal ball. What I do is I look at it for my own positions and I react in that manner. Now, I like to tell everybody about the way that I feel. And if you feel a certain way or if you wanted to kind of validate your own feelings, then that's the best way to kind of take that. But don't take this as financial advice and don't go all in just because I believe that something's going to happen to a certain project or it may come down or it may recover or whatever, right? So let's talk about Bitcoin. Let's talk about the overall market. But guys, if you could, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, those links are in the description. Now, don't forget about my margex link if you guys want to trade some of these dips and you know start to leverage trade into there maybe 5x leverage 10x leverage whatever you want to do feel free to do that but make sure you also understand what you're doing and what you're risking as you take on leverage trading anyways let's get into the market because the market is down significantly as we went through our live stream i think it was sitting at like 2.5 and now it's sitting closer to 2.45 right 2.46 is where it currently stands down 6.6 if we look at Bitcoin's dominance, it still hovers around the same area of 52%. So we know we're not seeing altcoins kind of take over. We're seeing it all fall simultaneously in the same percentage in the same manner. Um, so Bitcoin is down a decent amount. You're going to see that it's down 6%. Ethereum down 7%. You're going to look at BNB down 6%, 8% for Solana, 4% for XRP, 10% for Dogecoin, 6% for Cardano, and so on and so forth. Seeing a lot of things that are down a heavy amount, 12%, you know, 10%, 6%, 5%, right? Just down across the board. It's a bloodbath. It truly is a bloodbath right now, a pre-having bloodbath. Um, now, if we look at things that are moving the most within the top 100, we're not going to have moat. We're not going to have a lot. We have core, we have uh, TAO, and then we also have BGB, BitGet token that's up 2%. And then you have Litecoin that's slightly up, which is great to see because I hold Litecoin leverage trading wise, as well as I hold it outright. However, when you look at everything that is, you know, kind of moving everything else in the market, everything else is red. It is a complete bloodbath with a little pinch of of parsley that's all we got right uh we don't have any anything else that's really moving here in the top 100 and um it's kind of it's kind of sad right it, it's sad to see it's sad to see but it's also good because a lot of people will see this as buying opportunities but you only see it as buying opportunities if you think we are at the lowest point another question that i'm getting uh today is would i decide to go all in or would I dollar cost average in? In any situation, I'm always dollar cost averaging in. I go all in on a position, not based on where the price is, but mostly based on what the future potential will be more long-term that I'm going in on those plays. So anytime you see me go all in on a play, it's mostly on plays 
or really pretty much solely on plays that is that has that future potential that has that uh, push for the next two, three, four, five years, and that's kind of what I'm banking on, not just banking on this um, this movement for the next week or the next two weeks. Um, but if we look at things that are down the most, uh, you have uh, ALX that's down 16%, Kava that's down 13%, Pepe that is down 13%, Bonk uh, 13% as well, and you see a lot of things that are down quite a bit. But if we go over to Margex really quick, because this is the best way to kind of paint this picture. There's two areas that people believe that this is going to come down to. Technically, there could be three or even four um, if you look at that. But uh, let's kind of break down what those areas are if we're focusing on Bitcoin. Well, currently we see one, right? Around the 200 or the, sorry, the 50 moving average, that's a point to where it could come down to, which is 62. However, it doesn't really look like a, a uh, solid point, maybe this history and how much strength is there so i don't really take that as a solid point to where it's going to bounce off of i look at these two lines that i did create um this line which is around the lowest point here which is around 60 or uh, sixty thousand dollars um and then you see another low point which is around here which is a previous uh resistance point which is uh, $53,000 and the lowest point being about 50,000. So there's multiple levels that we could see this possibly come back to unless this is just a simple retracement um, because the typical retracements that we see, you know, uh, come back, you know, 25, 30%. Well, we're hoping that we're not gonna see that level because if we do, then a lot of people do get liquidated. Um, you know, then you have a lot of buying opportunities, I would say, but you do have people that start to not believe in the crypto market. I don't think that we will truly see um, these levels here down to 53 or 50. So I'm pushing for more of a, a level around here of about 60K. Um, however, we could see this kind of stair step on the way up and create this, um, you know, kind of line here. Right. If we're looking at, let me go ahead and uh touch points have all of these touch points we could be creating this line here and all of these touch points here i guess two touch points it would be there uh, maybe a couple more but either way we're creating this uh kind of ascending level of support that's here and honestly this could be the level the lowest level that we saw recently this could be that lowest level that we see it break out to and um you know start to push up above the highest point which is about seventy four thousand dollars so the question is is it going to come back to 60k is it going to come back to 53k or will it recover and in my opinion i i want to say that it will recover we we still haven't seen a level of retracement before the halving but this is a brand new market so it's very tough to say what's going to happen but here's my prediction right this is not to be taken as financial advice this is what I see here. I do see this coming down uh, to a level that's around the 60K mark, maybe even breaking that 60K mark and pushing a little bit below that. However, I do see that bounce um, eventually. I'm going to see some consolidation as we go past the halving. Um, as we move into the halving, we're going to have places to where it does you know, show its peaks and valleys, break up to about uh, 75, decrease down to maybe about 70, and then kind of create that consolidation before we see the true breakout of altcoin season. Because Bitcoin, I think Bitcoin will level out at some of these areas where we kind of currently are, and we'll start to see more dominance towards a lot of altcoins and more money that's flowing into a lot of altcoins, while simultaneously then getting those gains in some of those altcoins and flowing back into Bitcoin, then rising Bitcoin to another level, creating maybe a little bit more dominance at times, but pushing the dominance down to, you know, maybe 47, 45% and uh, then making the moves to where it gets below 44, 42, 40, but below 40, which is around 38 or something like that. And that's where we will start to see maybe a little bit of a complete retracement from there. So that's my picture, but it's not out in writing. That's what I see that's happening. But again, Anything could happen. This is a brand new market. We can't just take it off of history and go, okay, six months after the halving, we're gonna see it blow up. The fact that it blew up and broke all time highs before the halving is definitely telling us we're in a different market, as well as having the ETFs, having consistency, having traditionalists that are in the market. There's so many different things that 
are a complete change in this market compared to previous bull runs. So don't expect this to be exactly the same. If anybody tells you they know what's happening, they are wrong. Um, probably 99% of people that are out there are wrong because they're going to put out multiple predictions anyways. They're going to do what uh, Motley Fool does where they're like, it's going to be positive. It's going to be negative. If you're right, you're right. You have a 50-50 chance that you're going to be right. Well, 100% chance at that point that you're going to be right. Um, so anyways, if you guys want to um, check out Marjex and start doing maybe some of this charting, as well as if you want to start leverage trading and get some of these gains that we do have here, these are not ridiculous gains, but percentage wise, you know, they're massive. 343%, 345%, 434%, 146%. percent there. So obviously there's so many positions that I'm gaining a crazy percentage with. And it's just because I'm leverage trading there. So feel free to check out leverage trading down below. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. I'm going to get out of here and I'll catch you guys in the next one. See ya.